Thank you very much, Mrs. H. Welcome to the Wednesday shave. How are you doing? I hope you're having a, a good week so far. We're using a bit of a different setup in the shave, so if it looks or sounds different, um, that's what it is. Right, you okay? Hopefully, are we level? Uh, probably not. Um, okay, w Italian shave today and an Irish shave. So we'll start with Ireland first, and this uh, razor here comes in the beautiful box. I've had this a while now. Um, solid brass. I was looking at their wet and nice, and it comes in a, um, a three-piece non-adjustable. I was going to say it's a standard shape, but I don't know if you can see that blade gap in there. It's a bit of a gap there, so it could be high-end, medium. Uh, into low end aggressive. I don't I can't remember which is good uh, As I say solid brass I've seen this on their website. The handle seems to be the same But the head is uh, a black head with Dublin on it. If you check their website, I'll put a link in the description um, Italy We're going to use the up uh, out uh, Where are we? Abate Alamantea, Gary Baldi. I've used this before, beautiful um, Italian, made in Tuscany, and it uh, has saffron and Brazilian pequi, if that's saying it right. But uh, saffron's a very expensive ingredient. Uh, really nice, isn't it? He was a famous chap. Gorgeous scent, absolutely stunning. Handcrafted, yeah, in uh, made in Italy, Tuscany, I believe, isn't it? Um, beautiful shaving soap. Just, oh, it's a very expensive um, scent. Now we're going to do something different. Do you remember I said I wanted to use something? I forgot in the last shave, I think. And uh, summer's coming. We've had a few nice days, quite warm. So this is a top end soap but I'm going to try it we're going to add some of the sterling frost drops so maybe sometimes you wanted a um, a mentholated soap but you didn't want to buy the whole tub or you want a mentholate a soap uh, you've got that isn't mentholated you can add as much as or as little as you want I don't know how strong this is so I'm just going to add three drops to it um, Maybe you shouldn't, uh, oh there we go, do it to such a nice soap, but I'm just going to, one, two, three, we'll try that, but I'll tell you what, go for four, there we go, just a hint, hopefully, <laughs> of menthol in the fine bowl there, so I'll mix that up in a minute, blade uh, is under number one on the dice, so it's, this is a second use, and that is the Wilkin, the Gillette Wilkinson or Wilkinson Gillette stainless. That's going in, and here we are with a with a razor. That's what it looks like. Yeah, the weather's um, been cold in the mornings. Slight overhang to be aware of there. It's um, how's that blade looking there? You can see it. Uh, so, sort of frosty start, very foggy uh, yesterday morning, and it's due either is it today or tomorrow, Thursday anyway, uh, to be very cold and maybe a bit of snow. I think that's on higher ground though, like Snowdonia and places like that. Brush, this is, I bought this, I've had this about 80, 2014 I bought this. It's a pure badger. Omega barber pole. Um, it doesn't give you the size of the knot. It's 110 millimeters, uh, but I, I would say that's a 26 millimeter knot. And we'll go in. I can't smell any menthol yet. It might not be a strong. God, this is good soap. I 
I'm just adding water to the brush, to the tips, and then back. Look how that splays. That is lovely. We'll see if this badger gives us the shaving soap back, shall we? <laughs> you can add some good bit of water to this. Oh, it's a gorgeous scent. Very expensive smelling, you know, that type of... Look at that. Last bit of water. We'll see if I can... See, the good thing we're using drops. I bought that a while ago. And um, I thought it'd be handy to sort of mentholate... Look at that. To mentholate soaps that... Um, are not mentholated, if you fancy it. You know, the summer coming up. So we'll see if we can feel, see if we can feel anything. <laughs> well, I'm clever enough to work out the garden tulips. Right, let's go. Oh, that's lovely and soft. If I didn't know any better, I'd swear that was a synthetic. I don't remember it being that. That's lovely. Gorgeous soap. Get into them whiskers. Against the whiskers. Have you had some nice shaves? Right, we'll heat up this brass Irish razor. Good old Ireland. Anybody watching from Ireland? How are you doing? Give me a cold Guinness, will you? <laughs> Here we go, first pass. So I'm not getting any menthol yet, so I'm not going to get too excited because sometimes you don't feel it on the first. But the good thing is I'll add a few more drops if it doesn't feel it and just mix it in. Lovely razor. It's a uh, Feels very precise. Nice blade choice. Seems to go well in that. Yeah. Wow, we can certainly hear it, but it feels nice. Very efficient. Nice. Okay. Yeah, nice slickness, good quality soap. Good slickness residual. Back in, we'll just touch water. You can add a good bit of a drink to this. It's 
So, so far the brush is working well. As you know, badges and bores can be a bit thirsty on the soap side and keep it to themselves, but uh, this one's not doing too bad. It feels beautifully soft. As I say, it's on the... I can tell it's a it's a badger, but it's on the verge of being... Wow, he swear it was a synthetic. Expect this. And that's just the pure badger. They do a super badger on a silver tip. So maybe they are better, I don't know. And I think there's a synthetic version. And at the time, I only bought that for the handle because you couldn't buy, it, there was no Yaki or DS Cosmetic and all that type then. So it was a, uh, I was chipped a bit by that. Cross the growth, here we go. You can tell more about this aggression now. It's a heavy razor. It comes in at uh, 109 grams in weight. But, as you can see, it's good grip, good knurling. That's a nice addition. Feels very comfortable. And I would say it's on, um, in this particular shave with this blade, It feels high-end, medium aggression. Wow. Super slickness. The scent on this is lovely. It's not overpowering. Just this expensive, beautiful... This is good. Right, I'm going to add, I put four drops, didn't I? Just going to, just experiment a bit of fun. One, two, three, four, five. We'll see what happens. Maybe it's not as strong. I think the crystals are a bit stronger, maybe. I have no idea. But let's see if I can feel anything now. Well, I can smell it a bit now. I can feel a slight cooling on the face. God, this is good quality. So. Uh, yeah, so slight. So you can put about 10 drops in and it's a slight, very sort of, you'd have to think about it. Is it there? And I suppose if you go 10 to 15, you're going to start feeling it. That's for me anyway, against the growth. So far, a very pleasant and comfortable shave. Thank you, Island. Yeah, so I'm getting it now slightly, just a hint. And that's a good thing, as I say with this, if you like menthol, but you like it very, very weak, maybe, you'd, this would be the way to go, wouldn't it?
pretty efficient. Feels good, you know. It's one of them razors that you feel, how can I say, from the start you feel safe. Excellent for under the nose. That is nice. Three, two, one. Pick up time, baby. Yeah. Oh, that's cool now, but not strong. I like that. It's it's present. You know it's there, but it's not sort of. Ooh. That is nice. Won't be in work today. Why not? I'm on the Guinness in Ireland. <laughs> Bring me back some. Okay. Yeah, so I've, around the 10 drops in that, in the bowl for me, is a, it's mentholated but very, very mild. It's there, it's nice and cool, you know. Mrs H doing the, putting stuff in the dishwasher by the sound of it. Very slick. Wow, nothing left. That'll do us. Cold water rinse. Keep the face wet. We're using alum today. Well, this will feel cold now with a. Wow. Wow, that's a shocker. So it does. When you put water on it, you can feel the menthol. All right, here we go. Alum. No sting. Wow, that's nice. That is lovely. So while that does its thing, We'll uh, just go through. So we've used this manly stuff from Ireland. Uh, three piece solid brass um, razor. And it feels good in the hands, heavy, very efficient. It's a high end, mid aggression. Um, the Wilkinson sword Gillette worked well in it. Second use, felt very comfortable and very close. The um, scent of this soap is amazing. It's good slickness, it gets better. As you use it, the residual, uh, good quality, uh, one of these expensive sort of scents, if you like, uh, you think, wow, um, nice. This <laughs> is a good thing. Um, if you want to see the level of menthol you want, uh, it worked well for me. As I say, I bought it just to try it. So 10 drops in that is just vis not visible, you can feel it, um, but mild. So that would be my sort of basis now, 10, mild, 15, get in there, 20, 
maybe the old eyes are watering. I have no idea. So um, as we've used there, we've used the Omega um, Pure Badger Knot. Uh, it's a, I'd say it's a 26 millimeter barber pole handle. It's lovely. Um, what else have we used? We've used Welsh water to rinse. Alum now, and then we'll rinse that off. Cold water again. And uh, continue on. That is lovely. You can see that's what we look like. Really nice. So we'll go with the aftershave. This is the Gar Gary Baldy, the aftershave lotion. Oh, gorgeous, wow. Oh, come on, get your sniffed on that one. This is one of those that you put it on, smells nice. Give it 10 minutes and it smells even better. That is nice. Yeah, starting out. And then we'll use some, uh, this is the aftershave balm. Nice little trick, this on the top. You pull that off just save you pressing that as was handy if you're traveling and that looks like that so it's a sort of oh it's lovely that's like um feels like a cross between a gel and an oil in the hand beautiful feeling i forgot about that That is now. Nice. Oh, I really enjoyed that. Some of these shaves really wasn't planned. The only thing I did plan was the frost drops. I wanted to try that. But I picked these out and they're really nice sort of midweek keep you going to the end of the week sort of shave. <laughs> so that's it. I'll leave you in peace. Um, check the description below for any links I can leave or any information. And um, thanks for watching. Have some great shaves if you haven't any. And uh, look after yourselves. And I'll see you on Sunday for the weekend shave. Take care and bye bye.